what's up people today we get to go over a quick one not so quick but this one deals with Miranda warnings or Miranda v Arizona 384 US 436 1966 basically this one is your right to remain silent and the right to be questioned with an attorney okay the long and short of Miranda is when you are in being interrogated or in custody whether it's a custodial talk or if it's a voluntary talk or if it's during any type of detention anything you say can and will be used against you in court can't say a court of law because most of the crap that they're pulling is not law so if you are in a situation where you don't understand basically the stuff that I'm teaching the basics just be quiet and make them do their job if they're doing an investigation they got to put you in that investigation they have to have a link for that so a lot of times if you don't really know it in detail shut up but Miranda is is one of those where if you are speaking and after invoking your rights because of Burgess v. Tompkins June 1st 2010 your continued speech is interpreted in court as a voluntary waiver of your right to be silent so as long as you're talking you are not asserting your rights a couple other cases that Miranda was decided with because of your right to remain silent and make them do their job is Westover v. US Vignera v. New York and California v. Stewart so understanding if you're not well versed in law be quiet that's the greatest strength you have and I learned in sales a long time ago the one who talks first loses and they cannot stop talking because they're again they're trying to control the situation or they're trying to manipulate a situation and as you saw in a video I did previous about them lying it is allowed for them to be deceptive so let them talk all it is is talking and if it goes longer than 20 minutes it is a violation handle your business the more we start reporting these guys to where there is people that are not police officers and two people that can do something this foolishness stops so understand your right to remain silent be silent if you choose not to be silent understand it will be used or it can be used and I learned again long ago that you cannot talk your way out of situations now it may happen once may happen twice but that's not an effective choice if you do not know exactly what you are talking about and you are not prepared to follow through on any conversation that you've had so again right to remain silent right to counsel at all times anything done beyond that is with your knowing consent until next time